everybody, it's Joy with JoyceLife.com and today I thought we'd take a look at this Paper Play Cricut cartridge. It's a projects cartridge and it has fewer things on it than a normal Cricut cartridge does. You'll see just a few little things on the back there that we can make. But the reason I bought this one was because this little guy right here just cracks me up. That is the funniest thing. Can you see him in his little braces? Well, my son is going to get braces soon, so I just had to have this because I thought I could make that for him and that he would think that was hilarious. Or at least I think it's funny. So, <laughs> anyway, but today I'm not going to make that guy. I'm going to make a little bookmark. Um, I think that this is a maraca. Now, you tell me right if I'm wrong, but I think that's what it is. It doesn't say. It just calls it bookmark, bookmark, bookmark on all the pieces. But to me, maraca. Not positive. Smiley face, strange watermelon with a little... Uh, handle? Don't know. Could be Maraca. So what we're going to do is start out with this first piece of paper. I'm using an eight and a half by 11 sheet and I've got it turned in portrait style instead of landscape. So let's get started with that. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and choose the base and it happens to be that button right there. So we'll hit that one. I'm going to cut that at eight inches. So We'll press that little key right there, and then you'll see that strange looking bookmark. And now I'm going to do, like I said, eight inches. I did a little test piece and found that eight inches worked the best. So let's go ahead and cut that piece on the brown paper. Okay, so I'm just hitting cut, and I've got my blade set to uh, five, and then I set the speed to five. And I'm only going to cut it once. I think I probably need to cut it twice, actually, because this paper is pretty thick. Oh, I didn't. I do that every time. Forgot to add, I mean, uh, insert the mat. There we go. Okay, now it's all finished. Let's go ahead and hit the eject button. Actually, I'm going to kind of try to peel this up and see if it cut all the way through. Okay, it did. Good. Well, I guess cutting it once was enough in this case. Maybe I was using a different paper than I thought I was. I thought my paper was like crazy thick, but I guess not. Okay, well, shoot. Now there, it doesn't want to come off. Err. See? I hate it when I use crazy thick paper and I don't do a double cut. Alright, because it's stuck right there and didn't cut all the way through. You know what? I'm going to cut this again. I'm not happy with that. It's sticking too much, and let me do this one more time. Okay, so what I'm doing is going back and cutting my image again, because the first time it didn't cut through all the way, this area here is where I cut it out the first time, and right now I'm cutting it out, uh, doing a double cut on it on this side. All right. Oh, shoot. Didn't mean to do that. Also using the wrong end of the stylus. Let's hit eject. Alright, now it should be good. That first cut was just not all the way through. Maybe I need a new blade too. I don't remember the last time I changed it. Yeah, it looks like I might need a new blade. Okay, now that looks pretty good. It's kind of freaky looking, but it's supposed to look a little freaky. The way that this works is that you just bend it over and there are some little score lines right there. I know you can see those there and there that are going to help you bend it. But I found that if you just kind of carefully bend, you're probably going to have pretty good success. A little score blade would help too. So, or a scoring, uh, scoring tool. Alright, so that's the first part of the maraca. Now we just need to cut the rest of the pieces and we'll glue them right on. Oh yeah. When you're removing things from the mat, don't forget these two little pieces from your maraca cut because they are the eyeballs that we'll be using later. So I'll take those off and put them aside. We don't want our little guy to not have any eyeballs. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Now what we want to do is cut out this red part right here. And I want to go ahead and also cut out this blue part that I have. I've put both of the sheets of paper on the mat. And to make things easier, I added in a space so that... The little red part would cut out here and the blue part would cut out here. Actually, I need to move this paper over because the space 
is right at the six inch mark on the mat, which is right there underneath the arrow. Let's go ahead and I will get the mat in. And let me zoom into the screen and show you what I'm going to do next. Here we are on the main screen, and this is what your overlay normally is on a regular Cricut. So normally you have this little thing like this, ta-da, with all the little numbers and, I mean not numbers, but all the little images and everything on there like that. But on the Cricut Expression 2, it's on the little screen. So what we're going to do is press the red part, which is this button here. I've already done that, and we're going to cut it at 8 inches. You're not adjusting anything. We're leaving everything like it was set up to 8 inches like we did for the back of the bookmark, the brown part. And all I did was add this little button here so I could have a space between the red and the blue that I want to cut on my mat. So when we hit the home button, it'll take us to the screen, or to the mat, I'm sorry, and um, you'll see there we've got the little red part that's going to cut out in the top left hand of the screen of the mat. And then over here near the six inch mark on the mat is going to be the blue part. Well, let's go ahead and cut that out. I'll hit the cut button and this time I'm going to make that two. All right, I'm going to double cut, not taking any chances. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Now we're just a cutting away. And so you see it's cutting out on the red side on the left because I added in that little uh, space that it actually gives it a lot of space. And I think it depends on the cuts because sometimes it seems like I need more of a space or less of a space or, you know, it just it varies. Well, you can't have less of a space, but fewer than two or more than two or more than one. Anyway, you get the general idea. So... Ta-da! There's that little piece we need for our maraca. And we'll get this piece off. And I think we... No, we don't actually need that one. That's going to be a little place for his mouth to shine through. And then this little blue piece. Okay, now we're going to do the green and the white. Yay, we made it to the green and the white part! Okay, so we're doing this, which are those little pieces on the sides. And then we'll do the white. And I love this white cardstock that I use. It is just a inexpensive cardstock. I'll link to it on joyslife.com, but I love that stuff. I buy it by the uh, by the ream, actually. And it's 110 weight, so it's fairly thick. And it's great for using, uh, for making like little tester pieces. Let me grab something and I'll show you. See, here's a tester piece from the bookmark that I cut. I just wanted to make sure that I was cutting it at a size that I could use. So that's how I determined that we would cut these things at 8 inches. But I like to use, um, you know, basically some throwaway paper because you don't want to use your best paper trying to figure out what size things you should um, cut. You know, it's crazy. I've already gone ahead and added in the green part. So now we just need to add in the white pieces. And those are the eyeballs and this little part of the bottom of the maraca. So let me add that right now. And let's go see how that looks on the main mat. I think it needs to scoot over just a little bit more because of the placement of my paper on the mat. So let's add in one more space. There we go. Okay, whoa, that moved it over a whole lot. So you see what I was saying? I think it depends on the size of your image uh, as to how far the spaces make things go. So I could tell you, you know, oh, use one space to move things over to this point, but that doesn't always work. It just depends. So I actually think I might move that back a little. I don't know because my paper, I don't know, it doesn't really cover that complete spot. Maybe I should move my paper over. I'll do that and then we'll go ahead and get ready to cut. All right, now you can see that I moved this white paper over really close to the green. We're going to go ahead and hit cut. There we go. And it should cut out just right. I hope so. I hope I've moved it enough. See, that's one of the things, again, that I don't really like about the Expression 2. It's a great machine, and it could be... Uh-oh, look at that. It didn't stick down. Dog on it. Don't you hate it when that happens? Ooh. Awful. Awful. All right, you know what? We will eject. See? Happens to me. Happens to everyone. What I'm going to do... Oh, let me show you what I'll do. I have some glue that I like to use to make things sticky 
uh, well to make the mat sticky again and that might be what's happened is it's just not sticky enough right now let me get my glue and I'll show you what I do oh heavy sigh I couldn't find my open tape so we'll open a new one but this is what I use scrapbook adhesives easy dots repositionable adhesives don't use the permanent one or you will be very angry because if you use a permanent adhesive on your mat you'll stick everything to it permanently not good all right so I've got this out and all I'm gonna do is take my paper off the mat and you know I think I might just leave that white piece on there because it's I don't think it's messed up and all you do is is run it onto the mat and the nice thing about it is I don't think you'll be able to see this but it makes these little dots um, that are kind of like it's already on the mat and if you're using a different kind of Cricut mat because there's a new kind out that's a lot like what the Imagine uses, or maybe it's just what the Imagine uses. I don't love those, and I still have a bunch of these, so I'm still using these. But um, if you have the other ones, you can still use this adhesive on the new ones. I use this in my Cameo, my Silhouette Cameo, on their mats, and my Click and Cut. What else do I have? Oh, I have the Sissix Eclipse, too. I use it on all the mats, so... It's good. I really do like it. It works really well. Okay, this better sticker will totally embarrass me, right? Now that I said all that stuff. Alright, so all I did was to move this part that I was cutting when it moved and got all messed up down to the bottom. So now, I'll just put the mat back in. Hit load mat. Load mat. Push the mat in. Okay, and then we'll hit cut again. So, and you can use your fingers. You don't have to use a stylus on your Cricut Expression too. But, you know, whatever you want to do. Sometimes it's easier to use a stylus so you can make sure you're hitting the correct thing if you aren't paying attention with your fingers. Let's get this thing going. Come on, Cricket. All right. Now let's see if it works. It better. Don't humiliate me, Cricket. All right. It's a close one. <laughs> okay, so that worked out great. Now it's going to move over the white, and that white better not move since I didn't stick it down. That's right. Do as I say, Cricket. You work for me. <laughs> okay, so these are the eyeballs. I'm working on that part, and then that little part down there at the bottom of the maraca. And guess what? We're all done. All we have to do, eject it, glue it together, and we have a maraca bookmark. Woohoo! All right, I'm going to send this one to my daughter for her to put in her textbooks. She is away at college. She just left this week. It has been a hard adjustment for me. <clears throat> Do I th Am I choking up on camera? Good grief. My husband will be... He's been very sweet. I don't mean to make him sound like he's not sweet when I say he would be laughing, but it's ridiculous. I mean, I can talk about tacos and, and choke up, you know? So... It's hard. And you raise them and you want them to be able to go off and do things and then they get old enough and they do. And it's what you wanted, but it's still hard. Okay, do I need to take a crying break, really? No, I'll be fine. Okay, so there are the pieces. Ta-da! On my desk. Now, doesn't look like too much right now, but it will turn into something. As long as I can find that brown piece. Ta-da! I've got it. Alright, so there's the brown piece. And I think we might be using this little Zig two-way glue pen today. Upside down. Okay. I like these. They work really well. And they make it a snap to put things together. Okay, I'm back. I did not take a crying break. I promise. What I am trying to do, though, is pick up all these little pieces and get them on a mat so I won't get glue everywhere. All right. Why am I still holding this? Okay, let's move that out of the way. So I've got my little guy right here and Zig 2A glue pens, if you're not familiar with them, they're so simple. You simply turn your piece over. Oh, you see it's got this little piece on the end there. You can, to bring more glue down, you can press on it, push it in. You know, like the old paint pens. Um, well, they're not old. They still make them. I just remember them from a long time ago. Used to decorate things with them. Okay. All right. I'm going crazy here. It's not a. It's not a paint tool. It's glue. All right. So, forgive me when I continue to go on. It's like a whole little project. I think I like to play with glue. All right. 
so now we're going to, how does that go? Ah! Alright, I think that's good. It's like a whole sea of brown here. It's hard to tell exactly where I'm gluing. You know, I should be using some tweezers to lay this down too instead of gluing my hands. Oh well. Now, we will glue the back of this piece. This piece is about the same on either side, so I don't really know what the back is. Does it matter? No, of course it doesn't matter. This is nearly the same on both sides. Who cares? Let's see. Oh, this is how crafting can make me crazy and worry about every little thing sometimes. Silliness. Okay. You don't have to. Let it go. Just stick it to the piece of paper. Good. Ta-da! Doesn't matter exactly which side it is. No one will know. And how could they possibly? Because it's nearly exactly the same on both sides. Alright. Now we're going to do this. Do you ever just like get completely particular about your crafting stuff? I know you do. Someone out there does. Lots of you do. I know it. Alright, so we're sticking that down. See how simple this is? This is actually pretty cute. At first, I thought it was kind of a weird looking cut, but nonetheless, I still wanted to try this project. Last night, I started making it, and then I thought, no, I'm not sure I love the maraca. Why should I make a maraca? What is the significance of the maraca? But, I don't mean in general. I mean just, why would I choose that over something else? But you know what? Then I just thought it was super cute. Oh, man. And I'm going to make it. So I did. Looking good. Okay, his eyeballs. I actually do obsess over how their eyes go, because if you don't put eyes on just right, sometimes they look really freaky. Oh, no! Where did those little brown pieces go? Uh-huh. Yeah. They better be here somewhere. Okay, I will find them. Now this is one of those times where I should be using... Uh-oh. Are those eyes completely nuts? Is that how that one goes? It looks a little crazy. That might be okay. Okay. I think that one goes... These are egg-shaped a little bit, so... There kind of is a top and a bottom, I guess. Again. Overthinking. Overthinking. That's the wrong way. Overthinking! Stick down. Alright, now I have to find the eyeballs. Oh yeah, I found the eyeballs. But I couldn't find my tweezers and I need them. So I'm going to use this thing I bought a long time ago. It's the Quicker Poker Picker Upper by Quick Cuts. Um, I think Quick Cuts used to be Silhouette. Is that right? I don't know. I could be wrong. Let's see. Clearly you don't use it like that. Okay, hold on a minute. This end comes off. Oh, for heaven's sake. Ta-da! Yay, all right. It's all gooey and gross. All right, well, here's what you do. It's got this sticky green stuff on the end, and you use it to pick things up. So this will actually be perfect. It's not glue in and of itself. So I still need to add glue to the end. So we'll use the Zig two-way glue pen to add that glue right there. Ta-da! And then we will put some eyes down there. You better stick now. I guess that little green stuff will come off. Oh, shoot! That's not good. Hold on. So much for you, little green stuff. How helpful is that? Okay. I'm going to give you another try. Maybe I had too much little green stuff on there. Okay, and then zig, 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 zig. And now, another eye. I think I'm going to need to go back in there and wipe off some of that green. Because I still see it. Kind of gross. Okay, so there are his little eyes. Yay! And now we need to add this little piece down here. Oh shoot! Now I remember what that went to. This little white piece right here goes there. Okay, almost threw it away. Not good. 
So now we'll just zig this up. I'll zig. I'm going to stick that one to my finger. Stick it right down there. Now that little piece. I will use this our little green monster there. I just shot that right off of my table. So the craft room here is going to get a makeover soon. But you know what I have to do first? Clean it. So when will that happen? I don't know. When never stops happening, probably. I just, oh, I hate cleaning up in here. Oh, darn it. Really? I've got to find my tweezers. Okay. Believe it or not, even with the green stuff stuck to the pieces, and I'll clean that off in a bit. Our little bookmark guy is finished, and he is cute. Hello, I'm really cute. Cha-cha-cha. All right, now let's stick him on a book. Okay, our Maraca bookmark is all ready to live in a book. I'm actually not reading this one right now, but I do like this author. She's a lot of fun. If you haven't read the Shopaholic books, you might enjoy those. They're cute. Okay, so now here's our little guy. Let's say, oh, I read to this page. Well, not that page. Let's say I read to 105, and here we are. Our Maraca guy. He's going to hold my spot. Hold my spot, Maraca. Okay. Wait a minute. Maybe I put too many pages between them. Who doesn't know how to use a bookmark? This is ridiculous. Okay, hold on. There we go. <laughs> I know how to use a bookmark. Anyway, ta-da. So, see? Really cute. Hopefully, my daughter will be using this in one of her textbooks. So, Mr. Maraca can jump out at her and help her have a happy day. So, I hope you enjoyed this video about how to use the Cricut Paper Play cartridge and make a little Maraca bookmark. Cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha. And I hope you'll come see me at joyslife.com. Bye. Cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha.